Welcome back to Beats of the Heart, Lyrics of the Soul. This will be a full analysis of the new Dimash video, Golden. I had a few deer say in the comments that I should do a full analysis of the video. And I love doing stuff like that, digging into music, showing the symbology others may not see, and to find the hidden meanings behind the songs that may not be prevalent. And you know I like to do things differently here on Beats of the Heart, Lyrics of the Soul, so expect to hear points of view you may not have thought of. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the lyrics of the song in general, the lyrics of the song in relation to the visuals in the video that we are seeing, as well as any other thoughts that come to me. Behind this amazingly produced video that is given to us in the form of a movie with a storyline, we get a hero story reminiscent of many in mythology and pop culture where the one hero comes forward and saves all mankind, the underdog, outnumbered and outpowered, up against the powers that be, fighting against all odds to win and overcome the enemy. These stories and symbols can be seen in many stories throughout Greek mythology, history, pop culture, from the past and the future. The layout of the story seems to be one that most humans can connect with in their mind. In the story we get symbols of light and dark, good and evil, the sides already drawn, every single one of us being the outnumbered hero in a world full of evil we wish and hope we could overcome. So in this first shot we get, after Dimash Ali leads the screen, is the camera panning down an almost futuristic looking building, setting the stage for what is to come, while the beautiful guitar rift in this song takes us away into the story. As the camera pans down the building, we see two figures descending to the ground, following the camera's speed. As we see the camera pan to the ground floor, we see a somewhat scary looking figure who proceeds to light a cigarette while the two figures touch the ground. Notice here also, Dimash starts singing and is saying, they're always looking at you like you're some kind of freak. Notice how at this time, no one is looking and the man somewhat looks like a freak with all the black marks. The two figures drop something and proceed to sneak away unseen by the man. Now let's stop there and look at this a little more. The first figure we see is the man who has black marks, scars all over his face. At this time we do not know this, but are the black marks on his skin just scars or could they be something else? More than just scars, a symbol for the man being marked by evil or being the enemy in this case. Being we are golden, this is an uplifting song for every human to see their true worth, their true importance in the world, their divineness, if you will. And seeing the lyrics right here at the beginning, as well as the layout of how it is displayed to us, as I explained above, is a perfect, true example and metaphor of an innate feeling we have to want acceptance from other humans. Let me ask, have you ever felt that way? Like everyone is looking at you? And have you ever felt like you didn't fit in or you were a freak? If people answer truthful to those questions, the answer will be yes for almost anyone. Now, as the two figures sneak away, we still do not get to see who they are, but they are seen by a robotic black crow. As the camera zooms in on the crow's eye, it changes. And in fact, the whole scene changes if you notice. When the eye forms the grid on it, looking almost like a portal, the bird itself has disappeared. And as it is flashing red, if you look closely, you will see the red eye portal looking thing with almost a cloudy look around it. And if you look to the left, you will see a look out into the universe comprised of blackness and stars. And if you look to the right, you will see the same rainy scene we left, but almost as a reflection of light. I may figure it out by the time I finish writing this breakdown, but let me know your thoughts on what this is supposed to mean. We learn that the robotic black crow alerts the Cyclops guy. Then for the first time we see Cyclops and he sends his henchmen saying, get them, chase them down. Now I'm not sure if this was made to sound like a cheesy movie villain, but I feel like whatever language they translated that from originally sounded badass. I would expect nothing less from Cyclops guy. But let's talk about the black crow for a minute. 
Yes, on the surface, the bird was just a robot with camera eyes and facial recognition. But let's look at the black crow more closely. This whole video and story is a symbolization and a message, and the black crow is symbolizing more than just a robot. Crows symbolize evil, and that the enemy of the evil has eyes everywhere, eyes in the sky, something attributed to God, but for evil, the devil maybe, as well as an awesome song by the Alan Parsons Project, Eye in the Sky. And also notice the lyrics at this point. The gist of the first lines is everyone not showing love to others, or hating. And with the second set of lines, they follow the same theme. But I want to point out most importantly, how when our villain or evil steps on the screen, the lyrics are, we can see our vision crystal clear. The symbology behind that, I'm going to try and point out. Speaking of a vision, when the Cyclops steps in front of the camera, is a little jab at the bad guy. But it is also showing that when we have a vision or a goal we have set, we can see it clearly. And if we work towards that vision or goal, it will become a reality. But remember, the evil will also see that goal and know where you are headed and try to throw obstacles in front of you and deter you from that goal. At this point, we see a whole bunch of motorcycles start up, people running, and from here, the chase is on. We at this point do not know what Dimash's goal is, and we now see that the two ninja-like figures from the beginning were Dimash and his love. We get an epic car chase and gunfight setting the stage for Dimash and his love as a team. Soulmates fighting the same battle as Dimash drives angrily, screaming and punching the steering wheel while his love's lifeless body lies next to him in the passenger seat. And in the most epic movie fashion, we are given the song title setting the stage for Dimash to overcome the enemy all by himself. I wanted to point out these lyrics that are sung while the car chase is happening. Beautiful wording of the lyrics and message behind them in reference to the first set of the lyrics in the song. It shows the noise, the haters, the bad, the enemy, the evil will eventually go silent and all the chaos they caused will end. In the next scene, Dimash kicks open a door carrying his love's lifeless body and walks into a room, carrying her dead body through the doors much like men do after marriage. Not sure if there's some symbology here with life, death, and love. What do you guys think? Also notice on the right of the door, we can see a refrigerator adorning a Coke and Fanta soda brand sticker. Is this a sponsorship ad placement or just happen to be on the fridge they used? Let me know what you think in the comments. To the right of the mash, not much can be seen. A grinder, a buffing machine maybe, and some things can be seen in the foreground, which are on the table in the next scene. Dimash carries the body into the room, and an unknown weird-looking doctor man stands up, sees Dimash, and immediately gets to work. He clears off the operating table. Nothing much to see here, just doctor's tools. The one thing that did stand out to me was what looked like a robotic hand. The doctor gets to work, and as Dimash walks off to peer out the window, as the camera pans the room, we see more robotic-looking body parts. As Dimash looks out the window, we see a futuristic-looking scene with flying ships and wanted signs the size of buildings, flashing a wanted dead or alive poster for Dimash for 99,999 credits, I guess. Now, I heard a couple people comment on this fact, saying that that isn't very much money, we don't know what their dollars are worth, but I think this was done on purpose to show from the perspective of the enemy, Dimash was worthless, to him at least. And then we get a beautiful transition as one of the flying ships flies across the screen, taking us back into the room with Dimash and the Doctor. And in beautiful style, the music and video line up when Dimash explosively comes back singing. The wall beside the Doctor explodes and Dimash is off again running from the enemy. And finally, getting away after being seen by someone who recognized him with the enemy following close behind. I want to focus on these lyrics here for a moment. Now in these lyrics, I see them as part of the same message the whole song is trying to portray. I see much in the way of mental health issues like depression and anxiety caused by others. Let me put it this way, for all the broken pieces, hurt, pain, broken hearts, all the disbelief in the lies, the backstabs, people judging you, trying to tell you what is right and wrong, how you should live your life, 
The second set of lines, the same sentiments beautifully put and displayed to us through the video. Notice how in the lyrics, by the way we mark our skin, are sung. We see one of Cyclops' men who has scars all over his face. Now I hope I can explain this right, but I see beautiful sentiments and metaphor between these lyrics and the image of the man on screen at the same time. Almost as if the scary, ugly, marked up, scarred man is what someone is feeling like when they would look in the mirror. But meanwhile, due to self-mutilation, this same person, all these wounds and scars are hidden, but the pain and hurt they truly feel, fully caused by others' expectations, make them feel scary and ugly and scarred, and turn them into the enemy or a villain. I love how it finishes with the lyric, they don't know how the treasure's found within, and we get a shot of a young girl sitting in a room surrounded by candles, symbolizing almost a holy innocence we all have. If you look closely when it, sh when it shows the little girl, to the right of the little girl, you can see lights of a bus drive away, bringing us into the next scene. In the next scene, we jump on a bus where Dimash looks so badass with his trench coat, cloak, hoodie thing on. Walking to the back of the bus, as he walks to the back of the bus, he passes many people. One man is reading a book who, when Dimash walks by, almost has a choreographed moment as the man flips the book to make room for Dimash as he approaches. There are many people on the bus doing nothing of importance that I can see. Dimash then sits down and we get a reminiscent feel to the Robin Hood story who steals from the rich and gives to the poor. When Dimash pulls out a device which he drains $256 billion of Cyclops' money and transfers 28,359,926 million to each person on the bus as well we can assume many others. Notice the lyrics on screen when the money is stolen. We are still not rolling over. We can ignore that the $256 billion would only split up between over 9,000 people or so. Then Cyclops threatens Dimash for stealing his money and note, he says, hanging around all these low lives. Then we get to the club scene where badass Dimash walks through swarms of people dancing, riding bikes, robots dancing. Exiting the scene, Dimash sees a man holding a bird and then he emerges on the roof of the building to Cyclops, holding his love and threatening Dimash on a screen on the side of the building. We all know you don't threaten Dimash because he has the power to take you out. Then we move on to the epic scene at the end with a warehouse full of Cyclops and his men, all carrying guns waiting for Dimash. Now, when badass Dimash appears in front of the doorway, in the shadows, Cyclops and everyone looks happy until they see that Dimash has brought an army with him. A faceless army, all wearing masks, some armed with weapons, some unarmed. But as a group, this army of worthless lowlifes, as said by Cyclops, has overpowered him. All the people wearing masks at the end has some symbology behind it. The faceless army, all the true golden people coming together to fight for one true goal and only realizing their true goldenness when shown by the hero. The group comes together as one superpower of powerless beings. What I just said there kind of reminds me of Clash of the Titans where Perseus actually gave fire to man. You know, it's like Dimash has brought, brought hope and, you know, he has given something to man to help him in the story against the fight against the villain. It's just beautiful. I am sure many people can relate to this song in many different ways and on many different levels, from a collective society to an individual perspective, all depending on how you view the villain in this video. The song meant so much already, but it seems they have added another layer to the, just the music, song, and lyrics, giving the video an element of viewing the song differently. The villain in this video could be anybody, depending on the perspective watching. A child could view the villain as a bully at school, someone may see the villain as a boss at work, someone else may see the Cyclops as a governmental figure or the man that can control us with money, but regardless of what life throws at us, we can overcome and defeat all obstacles because we are golden. I want to hear all your thoughts on my thoughts. Tell me if you think something I said was stupid, anything.
make sure to share this video with other Dimash fans and you know I will be back as the beats of our heart and Dimash in our soul play on forever. Thank you for watching. Bye.